single game better at the age of 36. Is that a good right hand? I'm an honest fighter who gives his all until the boxing ring. I, I don't shoot the issue, I don't cut any corners. Thunder from down on is giving us some lightning. Speed kill. His problem is going to be adjusting to my speed. I won't give a kill how dangerous he is. I'm the one who's dangerous. I'm the problem. Took a combination, left hand dropped it. Oh, gosh, left hook. Captain Hook. I'm looking forward to going down under and taking Denny Green down under. Y'all get ready. Good day, mate. Welcome to a huge day in Australian boxing, in fact, in Australian sport, on an occasion with the industry's elite that will involve two countries, but will have the entire world watching. As we approach finals time in our footy codes here in Australia, again, the thrill of a big match is evident, but there is nothing quite like the big match atmosphere a World Boxing Championship offers, and a World Championship proudly hosted in New South Wales. I introduce, on behalf of Main Event Boxing, the Premier of New South Wales, Mr Nathan Rees. Today's announcement, uh, a big one for so many different reasons. Well, great news for New South Wales and great news for, uh, for Danny as we showcase Sydney and New South Wales to the rest of the world on what will be one of the great sporting occasions in New South Wales history. Now, you're used to keeping your hands up, protecting your chin. It comes with the job, but are you a fight fan? Uh, yeah, I love it. I love watching it. Uh, Fox in particular, I was watching it Friday night, uh, uh, Cooper versus Ali, and uh, I can recall when uh, Satoshi Shingaki and Jeff Fennick fought and f fought for the world title. I remember watching it at a mate's place in Toongabby many years ago now. Pleasure to have you here. Introducing now our very own and now free division world champion, Danny Green, alongside trainer Angelo Hyder. Now, Danny, the enormity of your achievements, has it actually set in as yet? Uh, yeah, it has yeah it has Andy. It's uh, it's very exciting to be here. I think um, the the magnitude of this fight is is obviously obviously evident with the premier being present to announce it. So it's it's a, it's a great uh, it's a great spectacle which is about to take place in just over under eleven weeks time. And for me to bring you know Roy Jones Jr. to Australia and what we believe is going to be the biggest fight in the in the history of the sport, um, sitting alongside uh, Angela Hyder, who we've had a great relationship and obviously now we've won a a world title together again. Um, I'm just very excited and can't wait to get the job done. A genuine smile on your face. This really is the beginning of a, a journey that could culminate in a dream. Well, it's it's a ten and a half week journey, which which I believe is going to uh, you know put me down in the history books as one of the greatest fighters this country's produced, knocking off one of the greatest fighters of all time. So for me, I'm I'm very very pumped and I'm very very positive, confident, but uh, also just trying to stay relaxed and stay you know, <laughs> stay cool. I mentioned that Danny is now a three-division world champion. It's appropriate we reflect and go back to Biloxi, Mississippi and go back to August 16, 2009. Green feels that he's got more experience, he's fought better fighters, and he's ready to fight Julio Cesar Dominguez. I don't think there's anybody in this building who expects this fight to go distance. Dominguez, pretty good hook with both hands. Oh, there's there's the right there. Yeah. Goes the body. A little headbutt in there. Now, Dominguez, this, this Dominguez is doing exactly what his advisor said don't do. Jesus, Dominguez, and a good right hand staggers Dominguez. First real punch of the fight. Wow. Wow. Dominguez did a, a dance I haven't seen in a while. Then it goes a stiff jab. It sure was. It's like a right hand, it seemed like. A jab <laughs> knocked him backwards, and then a left to the body. Throwing various jabs, but then I, I like it. He's showing us a... Oh, yeah, nice body work. He just missed the right hand. It would have ended it. You understand boxing is about. You gotta, sometimes you got to take a chance. And... Not much of that score. He's calling for more. Yeah, uh, he's catching. Oh. The referee took a shot to the back. That was accidental. Oh, nice left for you. Okay, so, so. Well, the fans now. Good nice. left hand, buckle the knees. Not a good place oh, for God. Dominguez to be. Took a combination, left hand dropped him. That was like a jab, like a nice strong jab with that. I just took him to the ground. Oh, wow, wow. Wow, wow. It's over, it's over, it's over. Dominguez holding off for dear life. That's it, it's over. Oh, what a great fight for Danny Green. Thunder from down under. Yes, Danny Green there now introducing next live in his hometown of Pensacola, Florida in the United States of America. A man that has been there 
He's done it and sometimes twice. One of the most recognisable and successful sportsmen in the world. Four Division eight time world champion Roy Jones Jr. Welcome Roy. Um, second time we've had you here and you've proven there's plenty left even at 40. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I've proven there's a lot left at 40. Um, it's a great opportunity for me to come to Australia. Uh, first time I would beat them fought outside the country since I fought in the Olympics. But if I were going to fight in another country that I thought would treat me very fairly, I would feel it would be Australia because when I came there, they were very nice people. They seemed very fair and, I mean, all you want is a fair shake. So I feel very confident about coming there uh, and performing for the people, but I am a guy who performs for the people. I don't believe in just coming in and just fighting a regular boxing match. You see this transmission right here? I'm getting used to working on machines because I'm coming down there to take the green machine apart. So, I mean, it's no secret about what I do. I heard him say he's going to knock off one of the greatest ever, Roy Jones Jr. Uh-uh, Roy Jones Jr. ain't going for it like that. Roy Jones Jr. getting his work in. I'm working on mine right now. The only problem with this is it ain't green. That's why I ain't taking it apart yet, but I'm going to take it apart. Trust me. We've got an Australian Ferrari waiting for you. Don't worry about that. Now, uh, Roy is joined over there in the studios in Pensacola by John Wirt, the CEO of Square Ring, and also McGee Wright, his manager. Roy, uh, a five-division world champion. Uh, forget the hype. What does it mean in here in your heart? It means a lot to me. Um, to get an opportunity to become a world champion in every weight class from middleweight to heavyweight is something that nobody has accomplished yet. Uh, a lot of guys have been five divisional champions, but none of them ever went from middleweight to heavyweight. That says a lot. And now I get an opportunity to pick up a cruiserweight title to complete the whole thing. And it's like, I can't let nothing stand in my way. I mean, I'm a history-making man. I love making history. Uh, Denny is too. That's why he came, came up and won the cruiserweight title. So for me, it's like a great opportunity for both of us. I mean, he wants to make history and beat the greatest fighter of all time, um, possibly. And uh, I want to go and become the first guy to win every title between middleweight and heavyweight. And, I mean, it's just it's a wonderful situation for me. So I love it and I look highly forward to it. But trust me one thing, when I come, I come to perform for the people. So be ready. It had been suggested by several. Roy was past it that he'd lost it. But again, we go back to Biloxi and a date with Jeff Lacey. The former middleweight, super middleweight, light heavyweight, and heavyweight world champion. Jones showing that quick left hand to Lacey. So the pushes have been missing right now. 72 pounds. Good right hand by Jones. And Lacey is a little wobbly right there. He is wobbly. He is wobbly. Oh, there was the right hand. That was his opportunity. He's that little short separation, but that separation is looking for Oh, gosh, left hook. Captain Hook, right? Good left hook from Jones. On the other side. He wants to be inside. Wow. Three, three left hands. Oh, three wow. punch combination. Brilliant. Two to the head, one to the body, and he gets wow. it again to the head, back it up. Another wow. great body shot. Another right to the head. This, this has been the night of body shots. Clinics would say to throw an uppercut, but. Roy Jones can't stop that right hand. Very good. <laughs> Still has his way. Right and now Lacey's hurt. So, uh, uh, see. And once again, he's looking like crazy inside. What an uppercut. And now Lacey backs out of there, says, I'm not hurt. Choose your means, he is. Four punch combination. Lacey says it didn't hurt. Look at that, three punches again. He's doing Roy Jones a great favor because he can, you can see how. Wow, wow, that's just too good. Wow, too good. Wow, he's wow. about to go. 